Hi, this is Amit Kirti here. Welcome to the third video on the series on Go programming languages. Now, Go programming language is introduced by Google, which is a mash of dynamic programming languages like Python and static compiled languages like C or C++. So, in this video, we will look at control structure called if else statement. So the items for discussion are a, a flowchart representation for if and if else statements. We will do a re recap of if statement. We will also look at if else statement. Then we will also compare the goes if and C and C++ if simultaneously as we keep looking at examples for the if else in Go programming language. So this is a control flow for an if else statement in Go programming language. So when you look at the figure, you on the right hand side, you will see that the in the control structure, when the control reaches the point here, you will have a condition like if x is greater than 4 or if the value is true. So we, we check the condition. If the condition holds good, then we execute the if part of the code and if the condition fails we will go into the else part of the code so this is how you would actually do an if else statement and if you compare the if else logic with another programming language say c or c plus plus the logic should be very much similar but the syntax of writing an if and if else statement and certain things are different in a Go programming language. Next, we will try to look at an example for if statement, which will be a recap for the second video. And then we will write an example for if else statement as well. So let's start off with our usual lines of code. We have to have a package name for our program we will, and since this would be the main program so the package name has to be main then since we are going to print some statements in the code i will import the fmt package you can look at the video one for the details on a hello world program for more details then we have a function main the opening brace has to be on the first line and I will set a value of if x equal to 6 we don't need a semicolon if x is greater than 0 we can have fmt dot println number greater So this is a simple program. All right, we forgot the opening and closing brackets here. So this is a simple if program uh, so compared to a, a programming language like C or C++ you don't need to enclose the condition in a bracket and the opening brace has to be on the new on the same line as if and you can further reduce this by having this statement here
so it should give you the same answer so basically the assignment of a value to a variable can take place on the same line as if so i can assign x equal to 6 and then check whether x is greater than 0 and then i can do an operation in the same uh, curly braces of if so the, these were a couple of differences for if compared to another programming language like c plus plus or c now the else would actually come immediately below it So when we run this program, so actually what happens is the else statement has, has been written on a new line. So the compiler expects the else to begin at the end of if statements closing brace. So I just brought the else part up. So your else will be on the same line as the ending brace. So when we run this program, it will say 6 is greater than 0. So suppose I make it minus 1. So it will say minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So these are some of the differences between C and C++ programming language versus the Go programming language. So you can initialize a variable along with the if statement. The else part of it has to begin at the end of curly braces, which is not the same as in a C or C++ programming language. You can actually write it on a new line. The variable written or declared on the same line as if which is this variable is visible in the else part as well so you will see that i am using an x which was declared as part of if itself so this variable is visible so this is how your if else looks so you can have an if else ladder so you can have if else if else if uh, written below so so these, these are some of the ways of writing uh, if else statements. Thanks for watching the video.